Dear audience, today we are going a new course named Building Conversational Experience with Dialogue Flow. This course is offered by Coursera and powered by Google Cloud. But in this video, we are showing here lab assignment only. We won't include any quiz answer in the video. If anyone need any quiz answer, then you may visit our website. The website link will be given in our description. Someone may find it difficult to um find the quiz answer in the video that is reason we include this quiz answer in our website so let's get started with lab you just give tick mark here and you do it when you will find here open new tool you just click here So at first you need to click your start lab. Okay, click here open Google console. Then select use another account. Then copy the username. And paste it here. Then click next. Again copy the password. And paste it here. Click next. Click accept. You need to click confirm. You need to give tick mark here, terms of service and email update. Then click agree and continue. Now you need to click your APS and the service. Then click your enable APS and service. And we have to search for dialog flow. Then click your dialog flow API. Click enable. Then click your build conversational tab and scroll it down. Then click here. Open link in new tab. Then click here, go to console. Then click here sign in with Google. Choose your student ID. Then 
button select your allow Okay, here you have to select your country. Then give a tick mark here. Then click accept. Then click your create agent. Now here you have to give an agent name type bot or chatbot here we are here we are typing here chatbot then here create a new google project and scroll it down then click here quick labs gcp for You have to copy this GCF project ID. Sorry, you just need to match it. You don't need to copy. Then you have to click your create. And here you can see that a default welcome intent is already set here. So let's try what actually it does. If we write here hi, then it will respond from here. Greetings, how can I assist? So now you have to click here default welcome intent. And now I need to remove all of these things. Here you can see hi how are you doing hi how are you doing that's thing now we are adding here some response by ourselves and you can copy this from here here we are copying welcome to our store I can assist you with the storehouse. Okay, you just need to paste it here. Then again go there and copy the next one. Hello there, I can assist you. Then again paste it here. Now click your save. And we will try whether this work or not. If we write down hi, let's see how it responds. Yes, you can see there it responds. Welcome to our store. I can assist you with the storehouse or place and order. Which would you like? As we added this response, that is why it is responding like this here. Now we have to create some intents. For creating it, you need to click here plus sign. So here you have to give intent name and it is opening dot hours. Now here we are adding some training presses and just click here and you can copy this presses from this tab. So just, just call it down and here this press just copy and paste it here then press enter then again go back this tab and copy this and again paste it here then press enter and again go this tab copy it and come back here and paste it here and press enter and for the last time 
go there copy the last one and come back here and paste it there and press enter by this time we have added some training presses now we will add some response here then click add response so again you can copy this response just go there and here you can find this response just copy it from here then come back here and paste it there and press enter now you have to click here save okay now our training has done successfully now let's try whether this work or not here we need to type which days are you opening now see what it responds yes here you can see that it responds we are open from 10 a.m to 9 a.m every day then it is responding like this way because we just added here that's the reason it responds it in this way now we have to create for another intent just click sign plus sign then click save hmm. and here you have to give your intent name and it will be order dot pizza now here like the previous time we need to add some training press here and we will get this tab you just need to copy from here here you can see the training press just copy and come here and just paste it here then press enter now again go back this tab copy it and then press it here so in this similar way you need to copy all of this training press and you need to paste remember after pasting anything you must press enter every time okay we have added all the training press here now we are inserting some parameter just select here one hour then click here and scroll it down and select here time as one hour is time so we select here time here we are just inserting all the time that is why here again we select 1 pm and it is time then scroll it down and select again time then click here tomorrow and we have to scroll it down and select here date as tomorrow's date that is the reason we select here date then again your selecting here noon noon now we select here at noon as it is time then scroll it down and again select time
okay here we are selecting today and again scroll it down and select your date as today's date here we have selected all the parameter and you can see here time and date now here you're adding some text response just go back this tab and we can copy it from here just copy here and again go there just paste it here then click save okay as we already added all the training press and response press so now we're checking whether this work or not so we are typing here i want to order a cheese pizza for pickup today her time is 5 pm so we write it here at 5 pm then click then press enter okay here you can see the response of the that great we have placed your order for 517 okay you can see that it is working that means we have done everything okay Now here we are replacing date with date original and time with time original but before doing it here you can see that uh, date is 2020 5.17 and time is 17 but if we replace date with date original and time with time original then you will find some changes let's do it and here click date with date original then again time with time original okay then click save and just copy this question again and paste it here just press enter and here you can find that where it was 2025-17 but it is now here today and time is 5 pm exactly that means it is showing here as per as the order of the user today and 5 pm both matched here now we are going to create some entities for this click here plus sign and here we can give entity name and it will be size and we will add here some entity the first one is a small then press enter and second one is medium then again press enter and the third one is large and then press enter then click save now you're creating here another entity just click here plus sign and its name will be pizza topping And here we need to add some entity and we'll get it from this tab. Just go there and copy from here. Let's scroll it down. And here you can find this entity. Just copy and paste. And then again press enter. And in this way, you just need to copy this entity. And come back this tab and press paste then press enter now here we are adding here a synonym for this and it is mushroom mushrooms okay then paste it here and again go this tab copy vacuum and paste it here and press enter and again you need to select a synonym for this 
just copy and paste it here Then click here add a row to add more entities. Okay, we have added all the <laughs> entities and then click save now click your intents and click your order.pj we have added a few entities few minutes back now we just need to add this here and here you can see the large and scroll it down And select your size as large main size then you select chicken and scroll it down and then click here pizza topping Okay, select here paper and scroll it down again and select pizza topping and then select mushroom and again pizza topping and select again our mushrooms and scroll it down and then again select pizza topping Select chicken, then select pizza topping, then your select cheese, and here select again pizza topping. Then select your small, then scroll it down and select size. Then again select your small and select again size. Now you can see all the actions and parameters are here.
now you're adding new response that is why you need to delete this old one and here you can add new text response for this just go back there this tab scroll it down and copy it from here and then come back here and just paste it here and then press enter then click save So now we have to give tick mark here. Now we have to click here define prompts. Now here we will add some questions. And for having these questions, we just need to go back this tab and just scroll it down and copy these questions. just paste it here and click close and then click again define prompts and go back this tab again copy these questions update and then come back here and again paste it and then again click close then click again define prompts go back this tab now here we have to select size questions you just need to match and you need to do it very carefully date with date time with time size with size and then paste it here then again click close and again select define prompts go back there and select here what topping do you want to use on your pizza just copy it and come back here and just paste it here now click your save button okay. now we are trying here whether this work or not just type here a questions Can I have a large pizza please? Then press enter. Here we added the questions of large pizza. But here user asked about pizza and the response is asking or time. Now you have to input here the time. And it is today. Then press enter. Uh, sorry you have to type here the exact time that means 5 pm 7 pm something like that here we are typing here 5 pm and then press enter and here you can see the response is what do a day do you want to pick up your order and again type here the day and it is tomorrow just press enter and the response is what toppings do you want on your pizza Then type it again here it is mushrooms here we type mushrooms but if you want you can type here any types of toppings and then press enter okay here you can see one mistake so you have to correct it just click here okay then click save
and it is we have placed your order for a large pizza with mushroom for pickup on today at 10 am see you then and that means it is working properly and here we are adding another entities let's click our plus sign just follow me what i am doing
Thank <laughs> you.